Hey guys, Ben here, 64 Degrees of Lean. Thanks for pulling into the channel. Um, so the inevitable has finally happened. After, what, four and a half, five odd years, yeah, five, five and a little bit of years of riding, the MT-09 is wrecked, completely written off, irreparable. irreparable. Um, you damage the bike, it needs a complete new frame, it needs a new radiator, it needs new casings on the right hand side. Um, yeah, a lot of damage. So that's why we've been a little bit MIA for the last couple of weeks. Um, this has probably happened just over a month ago now, maybe a little bit more. Um, so we just had to get everything sorted out. I'll paste some pictures here for you guys of um, what the bike looks like. And then you guys can have a look. So I was on my way to work on a Monday morning and just so it happens, it was the day I was going to record on the way to work and the battery was flat on the camera. So we ended up not recording and that's the day it all happened. So I was sitting down the road, probably going about 80 or so, and there's a center verge um, separating the, the two directions of traffic. And this guy pulled through the overgrown verge and I probably had about 10 odd meters of space when I saw him. So pulled on the brakes, started swerving out to the side and then he came further into the road because he couldn't see past the trees. And sort of the last thing that I remember was I was pointed at the front wheel of his car and I thought, this is going to hurt. By the grace, I managed to swerve out further and it, it seems like just as I was coming past, either he stalled the car or he dropped the clutch or something, but his car basically leapt into the right-hand side of the MT-09, sort of just in front of, of um, the radiator and that, but not quite connecting on the wheel because there was no uh, marks on the forks or anything like that. So he hit the radiator, um, he completely sheared off the crash bobbins, um, somehow I managed to get my foot and my leg for the most part out of the way. Uh, that's going to bring us to the second part of this video. And all down the right hand side, everything was damaged. His bumper and everything was laying on the road and, and it was a great big mess. I managed to keep the bike upright, kept it going down the road and, and I sort of, I didn't quite comprehend what had happened. Um, but I was sort of looking back and, and trying to see, okay, I'm going upright, I'm still going, you know, what's working, what's not working, obviously I need to stop. And that's when I moved to pull over and I started downshifting. I was like, geez, the clutch feels really funny. And, and the entire um, clutch pin and everything had been pushed into the clutch casing and the casing had been damaged and everything. And then when I pulled over, obviously I saw all the rest of the damage. So yeah, MG09, completely written off. Um, We've been to test drive a couple of other bikes. We've gone to test drive an S1000RR, uh, sorry, not the RR, the single R, the naked bike. Um, and yet again, I charge everything up for the ride video and I left the SD card at home. So that one is not on video. I do have an awesome video for you guys coming up though of a 890, KTM 890 uh, Duke first ride as well as a Gen 1, I think it was a 2014 model, um, first ride as well, the 1290 Super Duke, and that, that bike was absolutely amazing. Um, but the second point of the video, guys, is gear. Get good gear and wear your gear. I mean, this boot flat out saved my foot. I don't know if you can see the damage from there, but I mean, this boot is completely sheared open. You can stick your finger all in there. That's the pain from his bumper and everything. Um, so yeah, boot, fairly fucked. Should probably bleep that up, hey? Um, so obviously I didn't get my leg all the way out of the way. It, it still caught my foot, but thank goodness I was wearing these boots because I had absolutely no injuries anywhere on my body and especially not on my foot. And, and I definitely think I can attribute it to the boots. And I feel like a lot of guys will go out and wear a jacket and a helmet, maybe gloves. Like, in all honesty, get shoes. Um, you know, a, a lot of your, your low impact crashes 
um, result in damage to the foot or the leg and it's it's just so easily avoidable because firstly for the most part a, a tip over a road is, is is a stupid thing to happen but then to have the bike fall on top of your foot and crush your leg and your foot and it came down to something as simple as not wearing gear I, I feel that's quite negligent and these boots aren't even particularly expensive I think they are about $250 dollars three and a half a thousand rand so I think it was definitely a worthwhile investment and I'm super grateful that I had them um, so yeah this is just a quick little video to give you guys an update um, on as to what's happening um, I'll be cheeky and I'll tell you I have got the new bike down in the comments who can guess what the new bike is and um, if you're locally based in South Africa I'll quite happily send you a free 64 degrees of lean t-shirt we've got some awesome merch coming up for the channel as well which needs to be announced um, and as soon as that is ready i'll put that out there for you guys to have a look at so yeah hit me up down in the comments who knows what bike i got at the end of the day um, and i'll send you along a longer t-shirt thanks for putting in guys have a good afternoon Love my coffee.